doing this uh, big table scene here for this industrial park and I'm doing them on one foot by one foot squares okay so uh, to do a, like a four foot by four foot section that's 16 of those little one foot squares okay so I'm going to cheat I'm going to have a two foot square in the middle or you know I can move it off to the side being that they're modular you'll be able to change it around okay so what I want is is I'm going to incorporate a couple different things in here uh, uh, I'm going to make satis satisfy a couple requests at, at once I'm going to make a big hill bunker you know like about yay high on this two foot board uh, I'm using that hard board stuff again and uh, with the two foot board I'm actually I'm using a uh, quarter inch instead of the eighth inch just so that it you know, it's not going to uh, bugger on me. Uh, I'm reclaiming a board here that I've got some, looks like some plaster or something stuck on here. I'm going to have to probably scrape that off. Anyways, we'll put that one this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, show how to do this foam method with tin foil over top of the hill. And I want to do it, you know, fairly cheap, okay? So basically, the cost of the board and then some, you know, uh, cardboard. So I'm just going to uh, grab my roll of masking tape here. Take this. I'm going to make kind of a cross brace uh, thing like this, you know, with four of them on the, the board and then start filling that in with various things before a guy sprays the foam on it. So bear with me as I uh, stick this on here. I'm just using tape. Now this is an experiment too, okay, because I've never done one of these. So this is one of those get to watch as I learn. on this roll of masking tape. I've had this now for, oh man. Well, I had it before I met my wife, okay, which was a dozen years ago. I had it, I'm pretty dang sure I had it before I met her. So, I would say it's probably going on 15 years. And I, I bet you, uh, I'm probably at the halfway mark now <laughs> on it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it was a good deal. I think I only paid like five bucks for the roll to a 30 year supply of masking tape. It was a huge roll. Eh? It was, you know, it was about <laughs> this big. Eh? Anyways, okay, so here's our, our piece. And I got a sneaking hunch, you know, once the foam goes on, it's this is going to be stuck through the board anyway, so a guy's not going to really have to worry about gluing it too terribly much. I don't want to have to go this. This piece here needs to shave off the bottom so that I don't have to scrape the board and take off that old piece of flooring that I've got on there. Excellent. Now I noticed on some of my vids there, it's kind of hard to be here. Now I don't know if that's just because my speaker's on my old computer here or, or not. So I'm, it's not windy today at least, so at least there's no flapping plastic. But not much else I can do about it, eh? I just can't do this stuff inside. I make too big of a mess. So I'm going to take this down just a bit here so that it's not flapping, flapping in the breeze. Now I want to have bunkers in this, okay? I don't want to just have one big hill, okay? So what I think I'm going to do 
is I'm going to take some, you know, scrap pieces of foam here and give myself a, you know, like a flat floor level that once the, the hill is on, I can carve down to and have a flat floor or you better cut this top off, like put in two pieces and then make this as a, a lid that comes off. That might be a good idea too. We'll experiment. We'll do a couple different things on on uh, various various sides. Okay, so I'm not going to stick this other one down just so I can make sure that I've got things at a square square angle. Saves having to cut your angles to make it fit. Okay. Although this one isn't square, anyways. Okay. So what I'm going to probably do is, well, I guess if a guy's going to do this, you're going to want to have like four bunkers. I suppose a guy could have a whole top lid come off. Got to rethink this now. Okay, let me pause this while I rethink. Okay, I've kind of rethought. I'm going to, I'm going to do this in a couple different sections. I kind of figured out what I'm going to do here. All right, I'm going to have uh, one big square room in this this square here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a layer of white stuff down below. I'm going to have a wall like this, and then I'll have you know another wall kind of coming out here and have this as a square room or an entrance way. Maybe I'll do a what looks like stairs going into the back into to nothing a eh? and. Uh, make you know sort of like a pillar so this is an entrance way over here okay so I'm gonna like I said put a, a layer of foam down down in there maybe I'll just do it this way I use this stuff for the base quite often because, I mean, uh, it's going to have plaster and all kinds of stuff coated over top of it anyways. The only thing I don't like about this stuff is this pilly, pebbly shit, you know, get, I mean, it, it all gets all over the place on you. There's, man, there's not much you can do about it. Okay, so on this stuff here, I am going to use this spray. Glue. What do they call this? 3M's uh, Super 77. It's kind of expensive stuff, eh? There's, I mean, there's other other glues available, but this stuff does work good and it's foam friendly. Now I know I should I said that you know could, could use masks and stuff, but then again I am outside here, so. enough glue on there it'll work and if it doesn't stick well then the whole thing will be a movable <laughs> bunker so the other thing I do sometimes to make things work like this you know where the cardboard isn't quite sticking up to the side is you know take a toothpick eh, and basically just cram it through the cardboard use them as pins Excellent. I'll use that one. 
should be more of a cool vibe. Oh, I, shit, I just realized I got the friggin' radio going. 